Is OSX beginning to feel a bit slow? Don't settle for a Mac that takes forever to load apps. There's plenty of ways to speed up your machine, and in this video, we'll show you how you can get your Mac running like new. One of the first things you can do to speed up your Apple Companion is cleaning up your desktop. Each file and shortcut on your desktop takes up a bit of memory, and if you have a huge amount of them, your Mac will become bogged down with data. Cleaning up your hard drive is another good way to speed up your Mac. Start by right-clicking the trash in the dock at the bottom of your screen and choosing Empty Trash in the pop-up window. When prompted, click on the Clear Trash button to completely clear out unneeded files. If you're not sure where to start when clearing out your Mac, try using third-party apps like Omni Disk Sweeper or Grand Perspective to help you identify and delete unnecessary files and apps. One of our favorites, Daisy Disk, can be downloaded from daisydiskapp.com and it displays your Mac storage as segments that show what's using the most space. It's also worth checking your music, movies, and pictures folders to see if there are any large files that you no longer need or use. Monolingual is a handy tool for removing unused languages in OS X, and App Zapper can fully remove apps and support files, freeing up more space. Each new version of Mac OS X comes with better performance, so it may be worth making sure you've got the latest version, as that could be an easy fix for making your Mac a lot quicker. To check for updates, open the App Store app on your Mac and click Updates. You can also open up the Apple menu and select About This Mac, then click Software Update and check for updates there. The latest version of the software in 2016 is called OS X El Capitan, so make sure that it matches the version you see on your screen. Whatever version of Mac OS X you're using, you can make it run smoother by disabling some advanced visual effects. Open System Preferences, click the Accessibility icon, and select Display on the left. Turn on the Reduce Transparency option. Similarly, a good way to make your Mac boot faster is to disable login items. Open System Preferences, Go to Users and Groups, then Login Items to reveal a list of items that open when you log in. Click the minus icon to remove any items you no longer need. But unfortunately, there's only so much you can do with software. If you'd like an even more noticeable boost in performance, you'll need to upgrade the hardware. First of all, it might be worth adding more RAM to your Mac. If you live in the UK, head over to uk.crucial.com and use the Crucial System Scanner tool to find out what RAM your Mac uses and if it can be upgraded. If you're in the US, head over to the US version of the website. Another upgrade that's worth looking into is swapping your Mac's mechanical hard drive for a solid state drive. This is perhaps the best way to speed up your Mac, but it's a little bit more complicated and SSDs are still relatively expensive. You'll need to make sure your Mac has a serial ATA connection for adding a 2.5 inch SSD. You'll also need to copy the contents of your existing hard drive to the SSD before you swap. You can't just copy and paste files over, you'll need to clone the drive. Tools such as SuperDuper or Carbon Copy Cloner will do the job. This last option is a bit of an undertaking, so make sure you talk it over with someone who's done it before successfully before you dive in. Hopefully by following these tips, your Mac will run as well as it did when you first pulled it out of the packaging. Remember, by looking after your Mac, and deleting unwanted files, you can prolong the life of your computer. A few choice upgrades also prevent you from needing to buy a whole new Mac when your current one begins to show its age. For more tips and tricks on using your Mac, make sure you visit techradar.com.